Hi y'all, it's Nick again. I'm back today to um, give an update and show what I'm do um, doing on the Monster Ink one. Okay, this one was in my air bubble um, uh, video. I'm sorry, not feeling well today, so um, we know how that goes. Um, and since I tried everything that I did in the air bubbles and it still did not come, the decreases in the air bubbles and the rivers did not come out, I decided in the other video to wear, since it was the double-sided sticky tape, it wasn't the poured glue to where actually I could lift up a corner and just pull the whole um, piece of uh, sticky adhesive off. And figured I'd do from square one. Um, I checked in a lot of stores. We have a Staples office supply place. Um, they didn't have the like the eight by ten um, sheets of the double sided tape and all that. So um, I don't have Amazon Prime. So the next best thing I went to eBay. Uh, I found them. Of course, they were a bunch of different. Uh, sizes and so forth um so i actually clicked accidentally on the wrong size um but this was the size i get got i think it was i think it's a four by eight if i'm not mistaken but i only got two pieces um but it's okay to start with i ordered more and uh but i figured it would be good enough to show you in the video of what i'm doing and how you can replace it um even if you, you know, they're not that bad to where you have to replace the whole canvas, you could probably cut out if it's a huge um, uh, crease and an air bubble, you could probably cut that out and just, if you have a piece on hand or if you can find it in your local um, area, like Walmart and stuff, Walmart didn't have it either. Um, but it's good to have, that way you can always cut out that piece and then cut to fit. If your roll of double-sided tape isn't uh, wide enough, uh, I figured I'd just give you guys some ideas. Um, so this one here, I already laid down. It's, um, here, I'll move it over. This one I already have placed down. And obviously you'll just work it like the, the white cover or opaque cover of uh, it's already stuck or stuck on the canvas, and then I'll just pull it up as I'm working. But um, real easy fix. Like I said, I'll line it up, and actually, probably the hardest part is going to be is to separate the paper from the tape. But I did find it seems like these aren't cut straight perfectly straight either um, because on this one it's fine all the way up all the way up to the edge until it gets to about here and then it's totally missing the squares here which that's no big deal I'll use the um, clear nail polish uh, no biggie fixable from what I have found out and learned from this hobby pretty much everything is fixable no we shouldn't have to do it because we do spend good money whether it's the double-sided or the poured glue um, that we shouldn't have to go through extra steps but hey it happens um, and again like I had posted once before um, I'm not one to spend money on something and um, if it can be fixed with a little extra time and a little extra energy or elbow grease or whatever the case may be, I will fix it for sure. This one especially is for my granddaughter. She loves um, Monster Ink. Matter of fact, um, I call her Boo. That's her nickname that I had given her even before she was born. Uh, so she also loves the movie because of that. But anyway, as you can see, I, you know, pulled the paper off the double-sided uh, adhesive. I um, matched it up because I actually did double-sided um, adhesive tape down here. But I was like, that's going to take me forever. 
So, and then I will just pull and press down, pull and press down, pull and press down until you get the whole piece over it. And then you're good to go. And then you just use it as your regu regular white cover, fold it back, do a square at a time, cut it off, and continue. So, like I said, I have more coming in the mail of these that will fill the whole thing, but I have um, at least these I can start with. I do have another project I'm doing in between, um, but I'll definitely do another video when I completely have this done. That way, um, with in the other videos you could see how bad it was to how good it turned out just like in the my don't use Elmer's glue video it wasn't for me it messed up one I took it all apart fixed it came out perfect a lot of time energy elbow grease but to me it was worth it so hopefully this will help with a lot of the creases or the air bubbles that you may see and please don't chuck it if you don't have to even if you want to put it away for a little while pull it back out fix it it's worth it especially if it's um something that you paid good money for and um you know just work at it if you can it's not a race for sure um i also wanted to let everybody know um Last night, uh, my family and I, we just actually launched our diamond painting group and also our, it, it's also going to be a diamond pen, diamond painting pen turning page. So you're more than welcome to come in and check it out. It's called Fishing Creek Creative Turning and uh, I hope to see you guys there and uh, check it out and hopefully you can enjoy it in the meantime uh subscribe like and share my video if you have any questions or ideas uh considering any problems that you may have with dps or diamond paintings that you think that i may be able to work through um give me a shout private message whatever the case may be until the next time happy drilling everybody and see you later have a good day. Bye.